Stage 1 is where everyone begins. At this stage, the player most likely has the light version of the game, and is just trying to figure things out. Uh, so, I just got this game, uh, wait, what's it called again? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's called Geometry Dash. Uh, my friend told me to get it, so, um, yeah, I'm just trying it out. I might refund it. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, let's try the first level. What, what is the- oh. Oh, okay, you, you can't touch that. Okay. So, I just- yeah, uh, okay. Can, oh, well, what? Can you- You can hold? At this stage, players can go one of two ways. Beating Stereo Madness? Are going straight for the hardest level all right so this is the easiest level uh what, what, what's the oh whoa uh finger dash 12 this this must be the hardest level in the game you know what? yeah you know what? I, I, i'm good enough let's go try it oh my goodness Yeah, no, 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 I'm, I'm gonna beat this first try. After a few fails on the hardest level, they usually try to go back to Stereo Madness and spend a few minutes trying to beat it. They also encounter their first triple spike along the way. I'm getting the hang of this game now. Uh, it's actually starting to be pretty fun, and uh, I'm, I'd say I'm starting to get pretty good. So jump there, jump there, what? 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 What is that? At this point, the player has been playing for 10 to 15 minutes. After a bad struggle with the triple spike, they'll finally pull through and beat their first level. Okay. Oh, my heart is pounding. Please. Come on. Is it? Is it? Let's go. Go! <laughs> I did it, no way! At this point, they may try to beat other levels and realize just how fun the game is with all of its mechanics and such. Oh, oh wh what? What's that? Wait. Oh, so if you touch these yellow things, they like, they send you flying. Bro, what? That's so cool. Okay, so what do I- wait, wait, what? But, you can only go three spikes. Wait, what? Click while touching a ring to jump mid-air? Is that what that said? Wait, wait, let me- let me try. Oh! What? Whoa, wait. Wait, that's actually really cool, what? At this point, the player has been playing for a few days and has beaten the first few levels of the game. That's when they decide to play Cycles and run into the first ball portal of the game. Alright, so I'm up to this level, I think it was called Cycles? Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been pretty easy so far, I mean, there's like a lot of, like, the, the weird clicks where you have to, like, wait and then you click it, and then you- What? What is this? What is- Oh, wait, I, there's a coin, wait. Wait, hold up, there's so much things happening. What is happening on the screen right now? What is this game mode? What is the- oh, oh my goodness. Hey, 55. After completing cycles, the player may want to try out some of the harder levels, such as X-Step or Clutterfunk, but will ultimately fail. Alright, so cycles was pretty easy. I did end up completing it, but then for some reason my game crashed and then it went back to the final attempt. But it's okay, I'll just beat it later. Uh, let's see what the next level is. Oh. Uh. After trying over and over, and finally beating X-Step, the player might actually feel a sense of accomplishment and happiness. Unfortunately, all of that is about to be taken away from them. At this stage, they have most likely played the game for a few weeks to a month or so and they are finally up to the Clutterfunk level. This level really tests their skills, with the first ship being especially difficult for new players to get past. Bro! No! I clicked! 
Bro! What? I clicked. I clicked, bro. I clicked. It isn't just Clutterfunk either. At this stage, the player may feel angry towards small things and blame failure on anything other than themselves. No, no, I let go! I swear I let go, bro. Oh my god, these lag spikes are always ruining my gameplay. Oh my god. Bro, who's that? Me. Oh, I swear I looked away for one second and then I immediately died. Bro, this dumb phone. Some players try their best to stay calm, but the occasional 70 to 90% fail can really get to them and cause emotional breakdowns. Only sometimes though. No, 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 no. At stage 5, the player's anger has only amplified, and can lead to them doing the following. Yelling incredibly loud. This yelling is much louder than the previous stage's yelling, and I'm not even sure how they can achieve those levels of noise. Breaking items such as keyboards or mouse. I feel like mice are pretty popular. Ending streams due to sheer frustration, and of course, swearing. A lot. This is a stage I can almost guarantee every player has gone through. It's a stage that leads to demotivation and can make players quit the game over the sheer amount of stress that it can cause. Think of players such as Mafiwi, who got so incredibly close to beating one of the hardest levels of the time, yet failing right at the very end. No! Oh, 98! 98! <laughs> <laughs> Stage 6 is where the player no longer wants to feel like they suck at the game, and most likely will start watching YouTube tutorials, but not really listen to what the video says. I'm going to give you a little hint on, let's just go in right now. A lot of people use auto checkpoints. Auto checkpoints are garbage, in my mind. Like, look at this. Wait. What? Why? Is it actually? Oh, oh, that's why I'm bad. I have auto checkpoints on. So, it spams checkpoints. As the player fails more and more, they watch and try to improve their skill more and more. And after lots and lots of practice, there comes a time where a Geometry Dash player, after hours, days, maybe weeks of practice and work, will finally beat a certain kind of level. This is the point where the player feels one of the highest highs in the game. A demon's completion almost always feels rewarding, just because of how difficult they are. Oh my god! <gasps> yeah, let's go! Nice! Is that it? Hey, I did it! The first demon completion will always vary from player to player, but something is clear. Everyone will go through it, and it will always feel amazing. Some people may like beating demons so much that they turn into what is known as a demon slayer. These kinds of players play the game just to beat the demons. Often, these players know how to control their nerves and know how to stay calm after some devastating fails. These types of players are just as skilled as the demon slayers, but don't solely focus on beating demons. Whilst they still complete demons as they grant the most stars in the game, they mostly focus more on collecting stars and climbing up the leaderboards.
some people choose to grind out the hardest of short challenges. VSC is the hardest challenge in the game and only has 5 victors, but that won't stop star grinders from spending days, months, or even years trying to complete them. After the player has done everything they possibly can, they become bored. This can lead to them starting alternative accounts or leaving the game for a few years. Some live forever. This stage can happen at any time and is mostly unavoidable. However, most that leave will one day return. After a long and well-deserved break, the player returns to GD. They of course have to shake off some rust, but after, they are committed. They return to their passion, whether it be star grinding, demon slaying, or challenge completions. It may take a very long time for them to complete a level or goal, but you know what? They don't really care. All they care about is that they're playing a game that they enjoy, and that they are happy. Improvement. Is there a limit to it? Not to these players. They've reached some of the highest levels of accuracy in play ever, and even though they can beat some of the hardest monstrosities ever created by the community, they're never truly the best that they can be. So even though some of these players have reached this stage, it's only a matter of time before they reach the 12th.